there must be features there that we pick on, even pick up on, even if they're subconscious in some way. There's something about the way the animal looks that we pick up on and then tells us, you know, whether it's in a good or a bad state emotionally. Um, and so I think the most exciting thing is to see whether AI can find, because that's something AI is very good at doing, finding features that we can't detect. I think the, the issue that we found is that a lot of the, um, the work to date has tended to concentrate on the negative, uh, whether the animal is in pain or discomfort. Uh, there's some interest starting to develop in the, in the positive, and, and I think what we're trying to do there is, is at least show that the animal has a good life, you know, that it's not having a bad life, not suffering. So we're trying to expand the spectrum from the negative into the positive and also to see whether we can do more than just a binary thing, you know, stressed versus unstressed. Well, how stressed is it? You know, how unstressed is it on a scale? And again, AI lends itself very well to that.